Did love kings and queens. Welcome to another OG Fit session today. Five reasons why I feel awful. Yes, I have felt awful at times, and this is most likely why you are feeling awful right now. It's a cycle. Number one, what you think about yourself and your life. Say it with me. I am worthy. I am thankful. I am free. I am in control of my life. Keep on affirming that multiple times daily. That's one of the only things really successful people have in common is I am worthy and repeating their affirmations until they solidify and affirm the truth. What you think about yourself and your life, number one. Number two, what you think about what you eat. Notice I didn't say what you eat. What you think about what you eat is very important. You must think that you're eating wonderful foods. Some people, uh, McDonald's is the sponsor of the Olympics and some athletes, world-class athletes eat it despite their training. Not due to it, but despite. So it may be challenging for some people even to eat that. It upsets their stomach so much, probably because of the thoughts they've, that they've had or actually knowing and having a sensitive stomach and realizing that that is not the best food. One of the best foods we could have, keep it simple, unprocessed foods. Unprocessed, untampered with. Get some more water in your diet by eating fruits and vegetables. The main part of fruits and vegetables are fiber and water. So what you think about what you eat, think about it not as, ew, gross, but when we eat something amazing, the time that we start smiling is right before it touches your lips, not while it touches your lips. We have a premeditated thought and feeling about what we're eating. So change the way you think about what you eat. Number three, what you think about being active, exercise, how long, how much, and your specific performance level. You think, oh, I can't do this, oh, I'm too old, oh, I'm too young. Uh, I don't like the way I feel after working out, I've heard David Chan say on a podcast. How could you convince yourself of that? <laughs> We could convince ourselves of anything, whether it's true or not. Now, does the belief that you're convincing yourself benefit your life or does it decrease the benefits in your life? We all must know that working out benefits your life, yet we have different thoughts about being active. Oh, it's challenging. It decreases every risk of mortality known to humans. Uh, exercise has... It's so hard. It's simple. You literally could sit down and stand up like a child. I call it toddler squat. Or just get a few sprints in every day. How long? Just a few minutes or exercises every day will make a vast difference. Build that confidence. And perfection is progression. How much? Very small amounts of time, very small amounts of duration. Yet keep it steady and do it on a regular basis every day and watch your performance level increase. Don't worry about what it is right now. Don't worry about the ding has been said before because worrying is like a prayer or intention for what we don't not do not want, what we do not wish to occur in our life. The loop, it keeps on going and going. I feel awful. Oh, I think life is so hard. Oh, I didn't gotta eat this to stimulate my body and have coffee to make it through the day and then have a big ice cream to stimulate my bliss factor that actually Coca-Cola has measured and monitored with monitors all over our brain. After a certain gram of sugar, like 42, per that 12 ounce container, we hit a bliss point and you feel that happiness, hence their motto, crack open a can or a bottle of happiness. The loop is endless. And then it starts to become really challenging to exercise because you got a lump of unbiodegradable food in your stomach. Let your food sit out. McDonald's has sit out for over 20 or 30 years without refrigeration and still looks the same, probably tastes the same. 
the loop. It's a cycle. What do you think about your performance level? You have to jump and be active to change that performance level. Food does not build muscle. Another thing that you're telling yourself about what you think about yourself, what you think about what you eat and what you think about exercise and muscle. Food does not build muscle. Energy is not created from food or else the 60% of United States that overeats and is overweight would be super active. The 33 plus and growing percent that is obese would be super, super active and full of energy. But since they consume that 200, 300, 400, 500 grams of protein, that many people look up and think, oh, I need to have a gram and a half of protein a day because The Rock does it. Or because uh, bodybuilder.com says I need at least a gram of protein per, per body weight. That is nonsense. What you need is calories to supply your energy levels and back up what you are doing every day. But the energy is created in your mind to exercise. Sure, we have biological reactions of ADP turning into ATP, adenosine triphosphate, and there's a high energy phosphate bond just for every bit of movement, which means we're light beings because phosphorus is burning. And after those 10 seconds or so, we start to go into glucose, the blood sugar in our body. We all have the same amount of blood sugar. Actually, if it's elevated, you're super sick with diabetes. If it's under, you have hypoglycemia. It has to stay at a certain level, just like your pH. All the foods you eat can have a huge effect on it, yet your mind alone is gonna create the cycle and you're gonna act upon this. You're gonna act upon what you think about. So change your thought, change your life, change your activity level, change the way you think about activity, the way you think about eating. Come join us on ogfit.com. I created the masterclass and keep on creating these videos because I see so many people suffering, not living the best life possible. I guarantee you, you could be living the best life possible and in 10 minutes, you could feel 10 million times better. Come get it, come work out, come enjoy the health mindset because what you think about is what you become. What do you want to become? Blessed love.